G'day folks, welcome back. Uh, up to the uh, the bomber scenarios now. So I've read through the, the bomber section up to page 23. Um, let's see, it seems pretty clear. Let's see how it goes. So the way this first scenario works, let me bring it up and I'll, I'll show you. We're looking at uh, scenario six, lame duck. 12th of August, 1940, 32 squadron scrambles at 1740 hours and spots a raid of JU-88s crossing the coast near Portsmouth. 188 appeared to detach itself from the main formation, reported Flying Officer John Humpherson. I went into attack. I put in a shelt burst. Are you control Humpherson's hurricane, Green 1, as he targets the lone straggling bomber and tries to bring it down. So I've placed a, a Junkers marker and a Green leader on the game table. They comprise the bomber formation area. Uh, in this case, the straggler is a bomber formation of one aircraft. The approach step has already taken place, so they've uh, I've situated green leader, so it's approaching the bomber's flank. Begin this training scenario with the burst step of the bomber's cycle. As part of setup, uh, the bomber starts with two damage markers on it. I drew them randomly, but I ignore their catastrophic effects, if any. I've shuffled the bomber deck. This is a medium bomber. And basically I, I draw a card and I resolve the results. Hey, Joffrey, welcome. Good morning to you. It's about 11 p.m. here now. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what this bomber deck looks like. Okay, so there's a few things to look at here. I am looking at medium bombers, medium bomber deck. We have a lone straggler, so looking at this bottom row, and we're attacking from uh, port side. So we have a hit and a low ammo check. So when I say low ammo check, we just have low ammo. Um, the hit, now this is new. The hit, we draw a damage marker and apply it to the bomber. If there's a number printed on it, roll a die to check the catastrophic effect. And this is pretty good, this is an 11. And if, if I succeed here, it'll be destroyed. So I roll, it's less than the target number. So I'm pretty sure we resolve. Here's the, the marker. Roll a die and check the catastrophic effect on that marker is destroyed. The bomber is destroyed. Place a destroyed marker on it. I assume it's the same as with other hit markers. you need to roll equal to or high then to avoid it. Um, I'm just going to double, double, double check that in the rule book, page 55. Some damage markers are printed. Roll a die. The effect is triggered if the roll, number rolled is, the effect is triggered if the number rolled is equal to or higher than the number. My apologies. Okay, so I rolled a nine, so the, the effect is not triggered. All right, sorry about that. The battle continues. Okay, so what <laughs> what happens to my fighter? He uh, fires his guns as he passes through, hits the fuselage, um, flies past. He then disengage, disengages from that bomber, but remains in this bomber area. Uh, I've done the hit check. Then I believe, uh, yeah, continue the bomber cycle one round after another. How much damage can these guys take? I don't think I checked that.
So they've got three damage markers on them. But how many, how much damage can they take? Damage, 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 55. Tell me how much damage these guys can take. Draw a damage marker, apply it to the bomber, apply it, blah, blah, blah. Damage, uh, a bomber is destroyed if the number of damage markers on it, this is page 56, reaches its limit. Right. So we're looking at a Junkers here. Uh, one cockpit, two engine, or four of any other type. Okay, so one more damage on this medium bomber and it is destroyed. Good to know. I wonder if that's printed somewhere. It may well be, but there are a lot of charts. So what I'm looking at here is page 56. Here's all the information here. So this is that, that what I just read. Uh, we're looking at, yeah, we've got a, a Junkers here, um, one cockpit or two engine or four of any other type. We now have three damage types, so one more damage type and this bomber should go down. All right, what do we do from here? We return to the approach step um, and I've I think I've flown down his flank. I turn around. And I can choose. I think I can choose my approach angle. Um, but if I choose nose or tail, I'll suffer a delay of one round. And I don't think that really matters, but in this particular scenario, but just to be consistent, I'll approach down the wing again. Um, so that's my approach down the, the flank, uh, starboard side. I draw a burst result. And same grid as before, we're looking at a lone bomber. Ooh. Well, that's not good because that is the dorsal gunner. The bomber suffers fuselage damage, but we place a dorsal gunner. I did get them out, here we go. Place a dorsal gunner on the bomber. Henceforth, cancel hits for RAF bombers in its tail approach. I understand that now, but we place it suffers a fuselage damage. That is four damage. The bomber goes down, but not before this return fire result. We draw a return fire marker, oops, and apply it to my bomber, to my fighter, sorry. It's a nine. So I've shot down that bomber, but I just want to check I've been doing damage right. Uh, hit check. Well die if the number of frenzies is equal to or higher. So equal to or higher is trivial. I think I've been playing that wrong. Uh, equal to or higher is trivial. I need nine or higher. 12. We survive. Victory, I think. No, I destroyed the bomber. And I'm not in the fate box. I think I, you know, as long as I destroy the bomber, I win. Four fuselage damage, that bomber goes down. Victory in scenario six, lame duck. Okay, let's look over and see what's next. So three, 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 how'd they go in this? I haven't read through this example yet. So this is a brief example. Um, they ran out of ammo. Interesting. All right. Scenario seven, finishing the job. We need to get some ankles up in the air. 
And, okay, so let's read the, the scenario. 30th of September, 1940, 504 Squadron catches up to an outbound raid south of Portland and immediately raises a, makes a tail approach to engage the rear section, the Ketten, rear sections, Ketten of the He-111 formation. In the first few passes, Red Section damages one Ketter sufficiently that it slows and loses altitude, becoming isolated from the rest of the formation. Take control of Red Section and finish off these isolated bombers. Now, unlike the fighter scenarios, in the, the bomber um, cycle, each fighter uh, is, it, it moves independently, basically. Well, a separate aircraft, basically. You're not moving a section together. Um, so, as part of setup, two bombers are damaged already. Let's draw them. Two damage markers. Again, you just draw them randomly. You don't apply the catastrophic results. Uh, place red leader so that it tails one of the hunkles on a bomber tile. Sure. The other two bombers each have one damage marker already, drawn randomly, but ignore the effects. Start red two and red three anywhere near the bomber formation area. They may approach from any angle, but remember to attach a delay marker for nose or tail approach. The curtain rises on this training scenario at the start of round two. Um, well, I think it makes sense if red lead is attacking from the rear, we'll also get his section to attack from the rear, from the tail and we'll see what happens. Choose any angle of approach. They don't have to be the same, they may choose different. I'll draw a separate bomber card for each RAF fighter, even if they attack by the same approach. Draw three cards, one for each fighter. They attack individually, not as a section. All right, here we go. Let's give this a quick shuffle. Let's start off with red three, attacking this wounded Hankel out on the wing. All right, so we're looking at this uh, Ketten now, it's been isolated, and attacking from the tail. This is good. I do some damage. It's another wing damage. So I need four of those. D -d 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 tail. I'm low on ammo, so I'll draw a low ammo marker before I forget that. And the R is unfortunately a return fire. That's another nine. We'll resolve that later on. We now shift to red two in the center. Again, a single Ketten. Uh, we're not using green pilots, so we ignore that. We score a hit and low ammo. So they're on low ammo and we draw a hit. Come on cockpit. Nope, fuselage, but a potential catastrophic hit if I roll 11 or higher. No. Uh, okay, on to the last one. We have red leader, red one, attacking this undamaged. Come on, cockpit damage. Oh no, I'm gonna draw a card first. <laughs> All right, we have a hit, low ammo, return fire. So more low ammo, more return fire. That's a three. And a damage on the bomber. As I looked at the bowl, I saw the cockpit sitting on top, but I can't draw that one, that'd be cheating. Fuselage. Okay. And let's resolve. Um, so we disengage, we fly past, disengage. But hit checks. Nine or more? No. So he flies to the fate box, unfortunately. Red leader, three or more. Barely survives back into there. Okay, so, oh, actually. Um, so if you're attacking from the tail, you can stay on the tail. You don't have to disengage. Let me double, double check that. All right, disengage. Tail approach. Fighters engage on a bomber's tail may remain engaged. Do not attach a new delay marker. So we can stay on the tail. That's one of the reasons why I like the idea of staying on the tail. Um, all right, so we'll continue. Okay, 
yeah, return to the bomber cycle, approach, we're fixed on the tail, burst. Let's start with red two. Dirt on the tail, two damage markers and low ammo. So he's low ammo, but he's gonna get two damage markers. One, two, that's four. He shoots down a bomber. Well done, well done, son. Out of ammo, shot down a bomber, he returns to base. Uh, all right, let's try red leader now. There on the tail. Oh, excellent, look at this. Low ammo, so he's low ammo. Two damage, oh, I need a, I need either two engines or a cockpit. What can I get? Cockpit, there we go. Instant destruction there. That's two bombers shot down. Nice work, lads. Okay, unfortunately that's not quite a victory. Um, oh, it's tough standards here. Victory is all three Hankles that are either fallen or destroyed and none of your RF fighters are in the fate box as well. I both have one in the fate box and I've only destroyed two. Tough battle, all three Hankles are either fallen or destroyed, but at least one, well again, I haven't destroyed all three. Stymied, at least two of the Hankles remain in the Keta. No, there's only one left. Embarrassing, all three. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere in between tough battle and stymied. Jeez, it's tough to destroy all three. All three are either fallen or destroyed. Um, you have to do pretty well with your ammo to get that kind of result. So my outcome isn't listed here, but it's somewhere in between a tough battle and a stymied result. And I think that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Good decisions to attack the tail. There's a lot of good damage. You can see the tail is pretty good for doing damage. Lesson learnt there just by looking through those, those cards. All right, shuffle that up again. And let's see what the next situation is. That's seven. Ooh, a full basket. This looks like a big one. So uh, I might pause here because it looks like it could go for quite a while. And it's getting late. So I'll pause here and I think there's only, okay, so two more bomber scenarios, then we move to the intercept scenario. So I'll, um, I'll freshen up on the, uh, the intercept rules so I'm prepared for that as well once I've moved through these next two scenarios. There's a couple of bomber scenarios for you folks. Um, yeah, really interesting. Just a little bit different to fighter combat. Um, interesting decisions about approaches. Tough on ammo. My my fighter's running out of ammo. Yeah, <laughs> is often a uh, a key factor. Um, yeah. Look, folks, I'll be returning with a full basket over the weekend. Thanks for watching, and take care. You have been watching Skies Above Britain. Some bomber scenarios. Thanks, all.